Of all the things that can go wrong while baking over mixing is one of the most common mistakes that are easily preventable. People often overmix their cake batter to ensure everything is properly combined, but it actually does more harm than it does good. What happens when overmixing cake batter? When cake batter is overmixed, it creates a dense, weak cake that causes it to collapse, as the protein structure was weakened by too much mixing. Unlike light and fluffy cake, an overmixed one will likely be gummy, chewy, and unpleasant. How to avoid overmixing cake batter? Fortunately, overmixing is something you can easily avoid. By monitoring your batter as you go, you can ensure you are mixing it only for the right amount. It can be easy to get distracted while baking, but these tips will help set you on the right track. Number 1. Make sure your ingredients are at room temperature. Unless otherwise specified, all your cold ingredients should be brought to room temperature before making like butter, eggs, milk, cream, and buttermilk. Ingredients that are too cold may lead to your batter curdling. When this happens, many people instinctively try to beat the batter for longer to try to make it smooth. Number 2. Carefully read the recipe instructions before starting. Before you get baking, carefully read all the instructions and measure out your ingredients. Not only will this help the preparation go more smoothly, but it can also help you avoid any confusion beforehand. Number 3. Understand your baking verbs. There are so many different terms when it comes to baking. It can be easy for anyone to confuse them. Beat. Combine ingredients until smooth and aerated by using a stand mixer, hand mixer, or whisk. Cream, the process of mixing a fat, butter, cream cheese, or shortening with sugar. It is typically done with a hand or stand mixer and will likely take a few minutes. Whip, mix until soft, stiff peaks form. Typically only done for cream or egg whites. Fold, a gentle method that carefully combines ingredients until just combined by using a rubber spatula. Mix, a generic term for combining ingredients. No special method to follow. Number 4. How long to mix cake batter? Pay close attention and stop mixing as soon as ingredients are fully combined. Though it can be tempting to multitask when you bake, you want to avoid doing this. You should pay close attention to your ingredients when mixing, as the time it takes to fully combine may vary. Most recipes that use a mixer will call for the speed to be on low or medium when mixing in the dry ingredients with the wet. Avoid setting your mixer to high speed unless stated. If you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe.